Alright, alright, I know it's a sad day. This is the end of Shotgun Week, and I'll probably be back from vacation tomorrow. But if you're not here for that, and you're watching this in the future, today we're going to be talking about the bear, which is the best shotgun that I had never heard about until Skulls dropped me one on stream. <laughs> so, okay, it's maybe not the best weapon ever, but it kind of surprised me in its overall merit, and we're going to get into that today. So, right off the bat, if you're already well aware of the weapon and you just want the perks, this is what I'd recommend. If you've got Affliction, make this fifth perk match, and that's, that's it. Thanks for watching, see you later. But no, um... Very often, I compare fire rate and damage to crit rate and crit damage because usually the overall DPS is a toss-up. However, in this case, because this is a slow-firing weapon, 1.3 shots per second, you're going to pretty much need that fire rate to keep the damage going. Um, and crit rate and crit damage is just not a gamble you should be taking. This is a very, very slow-firing weapon, even with fire rate, so I just simply cannot recommend crit rate and crit damage. If you want to go that route, you can. Over a long period of time, I think the DPS will even out, but in in practice, you don't want that. Uh, and then, obviously, as per usual, reload mag size, you can do whatever you want. I'll show on screen right now the difference between the reload speed. I'd say reload speed is pretty significant, and because you'll always be reloading anyway, uh, there's no sense in waiting for your mag to just get all the way full when you're just going to empty it again. So, if you're running the perks that I recommend in the description below with my best soldier loadout for shotguns, uh, reload is probably the optimal way to go. I currently have this physical because that's how my schematic was and that's kind of how Skulls gave me his shotgun. I just wanted to compare apples to apples. However, if I start using this weapon more, it'll very likely either become energy or I don't know why, but I'm very weird about this. I don't know. I don't know why, but nature is really calling my name with this bear because I've been looking for a shotgun for every element and the pop shot came in the frost night event. So I'm thinking water might work for that. And then for my personal use, my ground powder came fire. And to me, that was very fitting. So to make the bear nature is appealing. However, the bear in no way really strikes me as on par with the pop shot and and ground pounder if anything i would use these two faster firing shotguns as my main weapon and then use the bear as a slower firing more hard hitting uh sidearm for miss monsters or something so that's something that i wanted to get into as well and that's that yes it's slow firing yes it's a kind of a pump shotgun but it does so much damage per shot that you could see in this gameplay that even as a physical weapon it's doing perfectly fine uh, it's not really holding it back hardly at all, so I've really fallen into favor of this weapon, and it kind of just happened on its own. So, mine's all purple perks, just because I had a lot of purple perk up at the time. Right now, I just sunk, like, all the gold that I had into my room sweeper, literally just right before recording this. I'm not even streaming or anything. Um, and as a follow-up to my room sweeper video, I... I've seen the way. I think I might make this fire rate damage, because that's just such a... Oh, like I'm going off of just experience here, comparing fire rate damage to crit rate damage. Fire rate damage is just so much fun on a room sweeper, it's not even funny. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about the bear. It's pretty good in uh, normal combat. Just, you know, shoot the fatties with it. Hit for the head, because as I can show on, this, on the sheet here, this spread right here isn't significant, but when I was in a full party with gold perks on the weapon that Skulls gave me, uh, the headshot, it, it really does stretch out quite a bit further and do quite a bit more damage. So aim for the head. That's definitely a good way to go. And yeah, so this is unlike any other shotgun I've used so far. I guess you can kind of compare it to the double boiler, but that one's more of a tap-tap reload, tap-tap reload. It's not exactly a pump weapon, so it's kind of just cool to recommend an old-school weapon like the bear because if we take a little trip to the collection book and show you the shotgun page, the bear is tried and true. Like, it's been in the game for as long as I can remember. It's base game weapon. It's just the upgraded version of the uh, green and white pump, which you might recognize from Battle Royale. And then it just skips over this M10-looking thing, and uh, yeah, the bear is the final version of that. So if you do have the bear schematic, make sure that it's got slowed and snared or affliction on its sixth perk. Otherwise, you might want to just skip this one. But that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this short little video about the bear. Uh, just a fun weapon that I've been enjoying using. Thank you to Skulls for giving me the initial copy. Otherwise, I would have never discovered this gun on my own. I don't think I was ever even eyeing it, and nobody I've ever spoken to has ever spoken about it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day. Big shouts to the patrons for supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much, honestly. $5 a month, and you guys can be on the end of my video screens right here. You know, check them out. You know, there you go. Nice some links for you. Thanks for watching.